Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be doing a couple of tests with my Motorola Atrix. Recently, Motorola just released an update um, that's supposed to fix uh, network issues. So it's supposed to upgrade the phone to the 4G, sort of. It's not really 4G, but it's supposed to be a faster network uh, for AT&T. And also, it's supposed to address some battery issues, battery life, and whatnot. Uh, but what I wanted to do was that I wanted to test the speed before and after the update. So the reason why I'm out here actually is if you look over there, there is actually uh, AT&T antennas right over there. There's two of them. And if you've seen my one of my previous videos, I've uh, I did a speed test on um, the Samsung Captivate. And I got really good speeds, uh, uh, something like around four or five megabits. Uh, just watch the video and you can see uh, what I was talking about. But um, that was on just purely 3G. So this is supposed to be an upgrade to it. It's supposed to be the H plus H U S P A something something uh, network uh, for the update. So I'm actually I haven't done the update yet. And so what I want to show you is. speedtest.net and this is an app uh, that you could download for Android and so basically I'm going to click on begin test so we're going to test if you notice up here too I've got the full bars and so this is the fastest possible speed that I could get since I'm standing mere feet away from the uh, towers so I want to test the speed before the update and I did this once before and I didn't get really good speeds. As you can see here, I'm getting about two and a half, almost three megabits per second, which is not, not that great, especially when the uh, my old phone, the Samsung Captivate, got uh, speeds of uh, five megabits. And so my upload speed is 0.16 megabits, which is not fast at all. So now what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and update my phone. I don't know how long this is actually going to take. So once I update everything, we will come back. Right, so this is the 4.1.83.en.us update. It's already been downloaded, downloaded, which by the way you have to download through uh, Wi-Fi only. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install now and it's going to reboot and we'll come back and uh, check out the speeds on what we get. Alright so uh, it's been about 6 or 7 minutes and uh, during the update there was like a little android character coming out of a box and uh, a little bar, status bar going across and then it started flashing red, a little red LED when uh, it was like the bar was 100% full. And I was a little afraid. I thought maybe something had happened, like it froze. But uh, after about uh, a minute and a half, uh, two minutes of that red LED flashing, it uh, went ahead and uh, rebooted. So now it's rebooted and it's starting up. And we are at the startup screen or the uh, boot screen right here. And it's probably going to take another couple of minutes. Okay, so we're back and uh, after a few good scares, it took a ridiculously long time. Well, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes total. But uh, it would reboot and then it would be at the boot up screen and then reboot again and it was kind of freaky so I didn't know what was going on. But I just waited it out so be patient, let it update. Okay, so let's look at the screen now. It's indicated here that the update status, the software's update was successful. Your phone has been updated to 4.1.83.en.us version. Alright, so I'm going to hit OK. So, the first thing I'm going to do now is go over to the uh, speed test. And I'll run that now. So here's the moment of truth. And I have a few disclaimers. Uh, after we run the speed test, um, this may benefit, it may not. But I'll explain what might be the case afterwards. So I'm hitting the speed test, doing the downloads. Oh, look at that. It's doing the exact same speeds as it did before. Not much of a difference. 
both down and up. Uh, actually, the up speed was a lot quicker. If uh, you, re you remember before, it was way less than uh, 1 megabit up. Um, that is a good speed, uh, but the download speed, not so great. So, uh, that's the speed test uh, before and up after the update. So here's a disclaimer. Right now, it's about 4.45 uh, p.m. in the afternoon, and there are a whole campus of people using the AT&T network. They, there's a lot of people that have AT&T phones, and uh, they're getting data, you know, back and forth constantly. So the network is uh, heavy, some traffic on the network, and uh, so that's one thing. So that's probably why before when I did it on the uh, Samsung Captivate, I did it when nobody knew, the antennas were just barely brand new and fresh, and just uh, was installed and nobody knew what it was, and plus it was like in the evening, and there was no classes going on, and none of that stuff, so not a lot of people was using the network. So that's one of the reasons why I probably got a really fast speed uh, connection. Um, so the second thing is that I don't know necessarily if these antennas uh, are 4G capable. It could be that it's just only 3G capable. Uh, there's no indication really that I have, not that I know of, uh, that something is on 4G. I don't get a little 4G symbol on my phone or anything like that. So I don't know if these, uh, this particular network, the box over there, uh, if you look, cameraman, right over there, those boxes uh, are the... AT&T network antennas. So I don't know if uh, AT&T has rolled out 4G necessarily. As a matter of fact, um, I'm almost certain that they haven't rolled out their version of 4G yet. Even though the phone says 4G and they might have a uh, HSDPA whatever plus. So that's like an enhanced version of 3G really if you want to think about it. But uh, AT&T hasn't really officially rolled out their 4G because there's probably going to be a whole 4G plan that I got to deal with and whatnot. But um, for the most part, that's just a curiosity that I want to uh, 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 talk about. The before and after uh, speeds of the, uh, of the update. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. John and Geek out. Peace.